<laughs> Hello, The Point Church. It's so good to talk to you guys again. It's so weird doing this video, just talking to a camera. I have to get used to it. Um, yeah, I just, for those of you that don't know, I was a member of The Point and still see you guys as family, of course. But God has brought me now up to Tunbridge, which is where I'm working. I'm doing an internship, working with some of the youth there. And um, yeah, it's been so good to, um, just being up here, seeing some of the miracles that, that God's been doing. And I'm just going to share a few of them with you, just the uh, yeah, awesome stories of ways God's just been moving. Because it is so incredible, um, some of the things we've been seeing. I go out on the street a lot and pray for people. And I've been seeing um, people with you know 30 years of back pain just instantly healed. They can't believe it. One guy we met, we prayed for him and um, he went off and it, I saw him again a couple of weeks later because he didn't get healed when I prayed but it turned out three days after I'd prayed instantly he woke up and all the pain was gone and it was, you know severe back pain he'd wake up at 2am, 4am, 6am every night in agonizing pain and since then he's been pain free which is incredible we've had um, we go into school lunch clubs to lead kind of Christian Union type things and just have a good time with the young people there and um, yeah, we pray for the kids and yeah I guess Paul puts it very well The my message and preaching were not with wise and persuasive words but with a demonstration of the Spirit's power and I guess my heart really in a lot of, well all, all of what I do is that I don't just want to talk the talk but I want to show these guys how much God loves them and you know show them signs and wonders and that's what it is, it's a sign that points um, points to Jesus and his love for them. So we pray for them, we pray for miracles and um, yeah, just healings because if it's not real then why would they want to believe it? <laughs> so yeah, I pray for the kids and um, none of them were Christians at the start when we started going there but you know when you get instantly healed on the spot and start running around the room freaking out because you didn't know this stuff was real then you're only not a Christian for so long. So yeah, we've been seeing People healed instantly, um, you know, cuts on hands, mouth ulcers instantly disappearing when we pray for these kids. You know, all just because God loves them so much and He doesn't want to see them in pain. And so yeah, it's amazing. We've been having healings and salvations with the kids there. Um, I've had people in church that I've prayed for, and um, you know, everyone's been praying for. Um, it's not just me, but I've had you know massive debts, and they'll get prayed for, and then say amen and they'll get a phone call from this company being like oh by the way your debt we made a mistake on our end of the system and it's gone so <laughs> yeah that's amazing cool things like that um I've had uh, kids in in youth um just on a sunday morning praying for them um you know after the service or whatever and then you know their ears popping open we've had several kids their ears have just opened you know uh cases of They've had uh, both eardrums burst, but instantly been healed when we've prayed for them. Um, we had a girl with a severe burn over the, her front where, um, yeah, she'd been badly burnt by boiling soup that had exploded over her. A tragic story, but yeah, prayed for her and the doctor said it'd be two years until um, it would make any difference in its appearance. It'd be two months before the wound was fully dried. So we prayed and the next morning, it was completely dry and it halved in size and we prayed again just as Jesus prayed he thanked God for the bread when he multiplied the bread thank God for the bread and then asked for an increase so we just did the same thank God for what he'd done and we prayed for an increase and the next morning she woke up and it halved again and then until it was at the point of just a small thumbprint and now it's completely gone which is incredible the doctor said that wouldn't happen it's another girl with a uh, incurable skin condition can't remember the name of it but basically uh, where your skin's discolored, you have like white patches and stuff. She had that, but um, you know, that's the doctor's diagnosis and God bless the doctors, they're incredible and um, often that's how God you know, heals, he uses doctors and medicines, but um, God had a different diagnosis for her, that it wasn't incurable and uh, yeah, she's been healed of that and this color that's come back where there shouldn't be color according to um, this, this problem that she had, this illness. Um, we've had gold dust appearing on people's hands in worship. I had oil appear on my hands during times of worship. Um, felt the presence of angels so strongly during uh, 
times where we've been talking, um, just talking about God, just sharing communion with each other, been angels that literally felt them fly over your head and as we're approaching doors that you know are locked and should be locked, you'll just, they'll unlock and open as you know, angels coming and unlocking doors so we can go into these places and preach the gospel, um, which is just incredible. I've had uh, you know, lost things reappearing when I prayed, financial provision has been incredible and a lot of, um, yeah, a lot of people have just, God's really opened their hearts up and they've been really obedient and faithful in supporting me financially, which has been such a blessing. So to those of you that um, have been doing that, thank you so much because it really is such a blessing. And um, yeah, it's just been amazing how that support has been coming in. God's so faithful um, to provide. And it's incredible. What other cool stories have we had? We had um, crazy things like confetti appearing in the in midair in the sky and falling down from the, from the ceiling. And it, you know, at times when like that happened, and it's the same morning, uh, the the preach was about Jesus, the party goer, and um, yeah, cool things like that. But just a lot of healings and salvations, just God showing us, um, yeah, He really loves us, and that He's a really fun God, and He is alive and He moves today, which is incredible. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a lot of the cool stories that's been happening. Um, happening here in Tunbridge and yeah I'm really missing you guys I've been praying for you as a church daily and um yeah excited to hear some cool stories back from you guys as well so thank you so much for all the support and prayers and finances and everything like that and yeah you guys are such an incredible family to have and yeah here's to an incredible year of uh, incredible miracles and just demonstrating the God's love <laughs> God bless you guys. Thank you. <laughs>